Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a hound's tooth pattern in Adobe Photoshop. First off, looking at the finished pattern here, we can notice that the basic unit of our pattern is this square here where we have an area of dark, an area of light, and then an in-between uh, with these ones here. We notice that this one um, this one and this one are the same except they are a reflection so it's it's flipped so that's going to be the basis of our pattern let's go ahead and create a new document we'll go to file new the dimensions I'm going to use for this is 600 pixels by 600 pixels resolution 300 pixels per inch color mode is RGB color and then background content set to transparent I'm going to go ahead and click on create to start with, I'm going to add some guides. So I'm going to go to View, New Guide Layout. We're going to do two columns uh, by two rows, and then go ahead and click on OK. And then we have the basic of our two by two pattern here. So I'm going to start by using the Marquee tool. Um, that is the second uh, tool here, or you can do M on the keyboard for a shortcut. And then I'm just going to, with the smart guides there, it makes it easy to draw out my square. And then I'm going to fill that uh, with my foreground color, which is set to black here, by doing Option Delete. Going to go ahead and deselect that area using uh, Command or Control D. And then on this layer, we're going to go ahead and duplicate it. So right click Duplicate Layer. Um, using the move tool V on the keyboard, uh, just sliding it over to uh, this top right uh, corner here. And then uh, let's just go ahead and uh, we're going to convert that to a smart object. So let's just right click, convert to smart object. And then I'm going to duplicate this smart object. Uh, right click, duplicate layer. And then we are going to bring it down to the bottom left corner here. So we have our, um, our black, solid black, our um, white area, and then we have our two um, in between, uh, but this one needs to be flipped. So we are going to go to Edit, uh, Transform, and then we are going to uh, rotate it 180 degrees. Uh, right now we can't notice the difference because um, it's just a rectangle, but later on we'll be able to see it. So we're going to click on this uh, top layer here. Go ahead and, and click on the Smart Object, which is in this bottom right corner. And that will bring up our Smart Object here. Uh, we'll go ahead and clear our guides uh, by going View, Clear Canvas Guides. And then I'm just going to zoom in on my canvas, um, Command or Control with the plus key. And then I'm going to create a new layer here. And then just go ahead and turn off the black layer there and we have our um, open canvas here. So um, to create the cam, uh, the hound's tooth pattern, what we need to do is we need to create um, a diagonal line that starts um, a little bit on this side and then a little bit down here in the corner to create a um, basically a diagonal straight pattern is what that would create. So I'm going to uh, use some guides here. So let's go back to view new guide layout. Uh, this time we are going to change it to uh, four columns and four rows. Next I'm going to use the marquee tool again. So um, M on the keyboard. I'm going to draw out uh, this rectangle here and then I'm going to fill it with black making sure I have a new layer here. Um, option delete for Mac users and then I'm just going to go ahead and deselect that so uh, command D and then um, we're going to let's just clear the guides uh, for a moment we'll use those again so with okay, with this object I'm now going to rotate it hovering on the bottom you'll see uh, the rotation icon I'm going to hit uh, shift on my keyboard and that's going to constrain it to uh, 45 degrees when I go to rotate it and then we're just going to have the point pointing at the top here just clicking on OK there and then uh, with my object selected I'm going to come over to the side and I'm going to grab out a smart guide 
Uh, when you have the object selected, um, you can just snap that uh, smart guide to the edge of your object. And we're going to do it again for this other side because we want to create a line that is the um, width of this diamond. So now uh, with that done, we're going to use our marquee tool, um, M on the keyboard here, and then I'm just going to draw out a, a rectangle in the place there. We'll uh, create a new layer in the layers panel and then just again option delete to uh, fill that there. I'm going to go ahead and turn off this layer. I'm going to go ahead and deselect. Uh, with this layer selected, I'm going to go to edit, free transform, and then I am going to uh, scale my height up to 175%. We need it a little bit longer and then just go ahead and hit OK there. And then let's go to View, uh, Clear Guides, and then we're gonna go uh, View, New Guide Layout. Uh, we'll bring back our four columns, four rows. Go ahead and click on OK there. Uh, with our Layer 2 selected, I'm going to uh, just hit the Move tool, V on the keyboard, and then we are going to rotate that. Again, you can hold Shift to constrain it until we get it at the 45 degrees there. Go ahead and click on OK. Now we're just gonna position it here till it lines up uh, with our lines here. And then we'll go ahead and duplicate this layer. You can do that by right clicking and select duplicate layer or you can select the object on the canvas and then uh, click on option and then just drag. And this time we are going to align it to uh, this bottom corner here to create our repeating um, pattern. So on this side would connect over here, um, up here would connect down, and it would be our repeating pattern. Um, now we're going to uh, save this. So you're gonna go, um, you can just hit uh, Command or Control S to save it here. And then we can go ahead and exit out of this a smart object. Uh, the keyboard shortcut for that would be uh, Command or Control W. And then now that we've done that, you can see the smart object has updated with our new pattern. And we had previously rotated it 180 degrees, so it has the rotation that you can see there. So let's go ahead and get rid of our guidelines. So let's go view, clear canvas guides, and then you can see the basis of our pattern here. So let's go ahead and check it out by uh, looking at pattern preview mode. So you can get there from view pattern preview and then we'll just zoom out and then you can see the pattern that we've created of the hound's tooth pattern. When using the pattern preview mode you can define your pattern with it open. So you'll go to edit define pattern and then you can give your pattern a name and just click on OK. So let's go ahead and uh, test out this pattern on digital scrapbook paper. So let's create a new document. So we can go File, New, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Command or Control N, and it will bring up this dialog box here. This time I'm going to use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper. So we have 3,600 3, pixels by 3,600 pixels. Resolution of uh, 300 pixels per inch. Uh, we'll set our background contents to white and then clicking create. I'm going to go ahead and just use one of my actions here that I've created, which is basically a solid uh, color fill layer with a pattern fill layer above and then just another color fill layer um, with a clipping mask to our pattern to be able to easily change out the color. So with our pattern layer selected here, I'm gonna go over to patterns. I'm gonna select our newly created pattern and then just zoom out here a little bit. So um, we did create it as uh, 600 pixels by 600 pixels. So uh, potentially this would come across maybe a little bit too large for digital scrapbook paper. So you always have the option to scale down. So with the pattern fill layer selected, just double click on it. And then you can choose to uh, scale it. So let's try 50% here. 
And then when this dialog box is open, you have the option to move it around um, if you want maybe to adjust the orientation of how it looks on the canvas here. Um, you also have the option to angle, change the angle of your patterns, uh, but I find that when I uh, change the angle of the pattern that it slows, it requires a lot of processing and it uh, makes this Photoshop a little bit sluggish. So I tend to not um, change the angle within here. I just design it um, and rotate it and then create the pattern to have a, a different angle um, versus create, changing the angle within here in the dialog box. So, And then if you ever want to get it back to the original, you can always click Snap to Origin. Um, I kind of liked the look where more of the white is on the outside for this pattern. Um, so I'm going to position it there. So we'll go ahead and click on OK. And then with this, you can easily change out the colors if you want to try a different color um, for your pattern here. Let's go ahead and jump back into our uh, pattern here. Let's exit out of pattern preview mode. So let's go view pattern preview and then just zooming back in so just to re reiterate the importance or how helpful um, smart objects can be with designing let's go ahead and jump back into our smart object here and then let's go ahead and clear these guides so view uh, clear canvas guides and then we will just uh, turn off these layers here and then I'm going to add a, another uh, guide layout. So let's go new guide layout. And then this time let's go three columns uh, by three rows. And then using our marquee tool, let's just draw out a couple of uh, squares here to make a new selection. And then I'm going to add a new layer here and then again just filling it with my foreground color option delete and then we'll just deselect there. And then uh, with this new uh, pattern let's go ahead and save it command S and then we'll exit out command or control W and then we have our new um, kind of a new pattern here. Because it's symmetrical, it doesn't really, these are the same in the two different positions, but if it wasn't symmetrical, it would be uh, different there. So let's go ahead and open our uh, pattern preview. Again, you can do that view uh, pattern preview here. And then just zooming out, you can now see we have a new design here. You can take this document and you can, it can almost be a little bit of a template that you can use where you can change the design within the smart object and you can easily create different patterns using this template just by uh, changing your smart object. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a hound's tooth pattern in Adobe Photoshop. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. In the description below, I'll leave a link to my website and my Etsy shop where I sell digital paper packs. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.